Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina of Gina Renee RM Budgets. I am here with another cash stuffing video. This particular clip, I will be stuffing my weekly cash spending and a couple challenges. I've narrowed down my savings challenges. I wanted to be very intentional. I just didn't want to just be doing a lot of challenges just because they're cute and they're fun. So I wanted to pick challenges that kind of, you know, meant something to me and that helped me achieve the goals that I have set for myself for 2022. And I will share a couple today that I've already started. And then I have two more that I won't be starting until I get paid this week, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to move forward, start with my cash stuffing, then I'll move into the challenges that I'll be stuffing today and go from there. I'm probably going to end up posting a video with a lot of different things in it because I'm super pressed for time. So I'm trying to at least be able to put out at least one video per week. So that being said, the way I manage my, manage my finances it has to be something conducive to the lifestyle that I have currently. So you may see a mixture of cash, prop money. It just depends because I don't have time to go back and forth to the bank a lot. So without further ado, let's get to the cash stuffing. I have everything right here. My wallet, I did some changes because I was kind of overfolding my money. And it was so funny because this is stuff that I already did because you'll see I had already made envelopes but I hadn't recorded yet. And then um, I saw Mrs. V, shout out to Saving with Mrs. V. I saw her video this morning and she said the same thing. She just doesn't like to fold her money and she ended up getting a old term and all that kind of stuff. So, hey, Mrs. V, I already had mine, but this is the one that I was using for bills. I have another one um, for my bills and changed up the envelopes just to make it easier for me. So I'll explain that when I get to that because I'm not stuffing bills today. But yeah, let's see what we got today. Look at this cruddy money. Cruddy, look. Look at this trash, okay? Do y'all see? Look at these woofers. Like they look like somebody just balled them up and stuffed them in their bra or their shoe. I, I'm just over it. Like, I'm convinced all the budgeters have all the cute money because it doesn't exist anymore. So let's count and see what we got. We got a little extra because I am doing some, um, I got paid for doing compliance or something. For my second job, it was like 60 bucks. So I pulled that out the bank because most of my side hustle money is probably gonna go to challenges and savings. So anyway, okay, I had to straighten it out. It's already cruddy. I don't want it to be mixed up too. So we got 150, 220, 40, 60, 80, 90, 310, 20, 35, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 360 dollars that we'll be stuffing this week. Um, I hope everybody's well. I really do miss you guys. I miss, you know, I get on and I watch videos and I try to comment. I always like, I may not always have time to comment, but I keep TVs rolling with YouTube. So, you know, if you guys are thinking I'm not around, I'm definitely around. I try to keep up with you guys. But with it on my TV, it's like, I don't think it's a way to like it. And a lot of times it's playing while I'm charting or playing while I'm working or whatever the case may be, but I'm supporting you guys. And so, and I appreciate all the support from you. So, all right. So let's start as usual and see if I had anything left. This is the way I set my Moterm up for me to carry with me every day. All right, so I made some new envelopes and um, Food and home, of course, you guys know, it's rare for me to have any money left in food and home. And we had got off that Daniel fast and we really didn't need like meats, of course, because <laughs> we had meats that were just stocking, stocked up from before, but little things that we had gone without eating like bread, that type of thing, we needed that. So anyway, we went through food and home pretty fast. So spending, 
looks like we got a little money in spending. 5, 10, 15, 20, and 122. Okay. So we'll put that there. That's going to go into one of my challenges. Uh, this is my unbudgeted envelope. I just changed it to miscellaneous because it was really irking me that it was giving me a spell check error all the time when I put in unbudgeted. <laughs> so I changed it to, to miscellaneous. Okay, so the next three are basically my revolving sinking funds is what I want to call them. And those are sinking funds that I like to have in cash and pretty much like to have on me because these things kind of spur the moment, moment I may want to use them, okay? So self-care, I've been in the house, it's cold outside, so 20, 40, 60, that's the same 60 that I had stuffed last week and I do not unstuff my revolving sinking funds. I just add to them. All right, so this is my date night envelope. I changed a tiny time. I just wanted something cute, y'all. You know I have to change it up. So we did use this. I forget what happened. We went and got Chinese or something. And you all know we don't have an eating out envelope. So we either take it from our grocery money or if it's just me and my husband, which that's most of the time, then I may volunteer and use our honey time envelope or my husband will just pay for it. Um, and then car TLC. God, can y'all believe it? I didn't have to use it, but I'm not stuffing this today. This one is the one I stuff with my paycheck, so I'll stuff it in a couple days, but I still got 50 left. And I wouldn't have had that because, of course, my daughter has my car, and so <laughs> it was something wrong with it again. Remember, I had just paid $500. Then it was another repair issue. It cost $180, so I was going to take that 50 and like... Then my husband was like, no, nope, leave your 50 in there. And so he covered the 180 payment this time. So thank God for Mr. Ari and Budget. <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff and done. All right, Food and Home um, is going to get 160 which is this $100 bill. This 50 and this 10 is 160 All right, and um, th you know what? Folding my, my um, money... It's not so bad until you get change at the store and you're in a hurry and you're trying to get, you know, whatever. I was just over it. And the envelopes are cute and my little Motown is cute. I still have it, all of them, but it's just, I don't know. It might be different maybe in the summer. Maybe it's the winter. I, I, I don't like it, but whatever. Spending is going to get $45. And um, this money, I mean... Can we talk about it? It's horrible. That's all, it's no other word for it. 45 for spending. All righty. Then we got miscellaneous, only gets two fives now. I forgot my giving envelope. Look, this is what I decided with my giving envelope, and I'm gonna try to find it before, while I'm filming this video. But it was kind of my husband that suggested it though. But he was like, you know how I used to keep like giving in front here so I wouldn't have to show the rest of my envelopes? Well, my husband was like, well, you know, that's kind of risky for you to even pull, have to pull out your wallet at all for giving because you just never know. And that quick, you let your window down, you try, you know, they could just snatch your whole wallet. So I, instead, I have a mini envelope. Let me see if I I don't know, y'all. I might have put it in my purse somewhere, but anyway, it's just a mini. Not even like the A7. It's just a mini envelope. It's clear, and I'm going to put it in like the outside pocket of my purse. So that's something I could just unzip, grab it before I even let my window down type of thing. And I only keep $5 in there unless it rolls over a little bit and I have a little bit more. But one, two, three, four, five. Look at these ones. I don't know what the bank is doing, like, for real. But I'm just going to put that to the side because, I don't know. I just had found it, too. Anyway, uh, moving right along. So that's my new plan with the giving. So it's not that I don't have a giving envelope, but I'm going to keep it completely not in my wallet. I don't want to have to touch my wallet, all right? Self-care, of course, gets 60. Oh, I said I wanted to do a 50 and a 10 because I already knew I had money in there. So I didn't want it to get too bulky. 
All right. So for self care, now we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120. And self care, and I think I'm gonna use that because I need to get my nails done. I think. My my daughter gonna have something smart to say, but whatever. So what, Ari? Um, honey time always gets twenty dollars, and I think I said a twenty for that. I'm pretty sure. Um, and then car TLC is for pay my payday that I stuffed that envelope. So that's it for my weekly spending money. Now let's move on to these challenges. I'm saving my coins. This is my bank that I won from saving with Miss V. And I am doing it, but I kind of go use it as I go. So, cause I don't like a lot of all this change sitting in my purse. So I'm at 27.63 with my coin challenge. So that's one of my challenges. That off the side. And I started my, I went back and forth with the 100 envelope challenge, but I just said, okay, I decided to do it. So if this box looks familiar, this is the box that my planner came in. I like the aesthetic of the planner box, so I definitely wanted to keep it. So then I saw on Carenza Amanda's channel, she uses these little small pink cute envelopes for her 100 envelope challenge and she had the link at um to her to these envelopes so she had the links to these envelopes on her channel and i was like oh i could probably fit those somehow really cutely in my planner box but guess what i was hoping they would fit this way but they wouldn't okay and you'll see that they fit better this way, which that's not really what I wanted, but guess what? It does the trick. And then, oh wait, I gotta change this because I thought I only had 21, but I got 22. So instead of 21 envelope, I'm gonna pull out 22 instead. So these envelopes, they come 120 in the package as opposed to the 100 that you need. So guess what I did with the rest? So this is the challenge. I don't know who I printed this from. I apologize. I'll find out and share with you guys later. But today's the 26th. I started this back January 16th. I wrote the date there, right? So what I did was the extra envelopes that I had, I made them like kind of random and some of them, let me see if I can find them real quick. Let me, I'm gonna move this so I can have this whole thing in front. All right. So, yes, I'm on top of my printer, so you know, because I'm just, whatever. So, what I did with the extras is I labeled all of them, but then when I got to the 20 extra, let's see if I could find a few of them. I put random numbers on there. This is too close to that. So, I just stuck them in here. Some of them have an amount, some of them have a question mark, meaning I can put whatever I want in there, and I just don't know. Um, but... I got a lot of amounts and I got one big amount that I'm gonna do like there's another 200 um, I'm trying to show y'all real quick I got a 150 I got a, another question mark but where's that other envelope so most of them are like 100 150 I got a 300 I have a 350 but then outside of that look what I made so I'm going to take <laughs> and I'm gonna stuff this envelope so I didn't add up the numbers, guys. I have no idea what this is gonna add up to, but I'm gonna complete it. So I know with just my 100 envelopes, it's gonna be at least 5,050. So I'm thinking once I get them all done, I'm gonna do them as fast as possible, no rhyme or reason, all the extra money, side hustle money. Every time I get a chance, I'm just gonna stuff envelopes. My husband give me money, I'm probably gonna stuff an envelope. So I may not always record it like, so far this is what I have, plus I have a couple of my bonus envelope stuff too and they're not even accounted for on this page, okay? So, all right, enough about that. So today, this is the 22 that I had left in my spending money. So I pulled 22 out already. All right. Now the next couple numbers, I basically, and I'm not going to seal these because I'd like to keep using this. All right. I would like to, you know, 
use it over and over and over again. And I put my make yourself a priority, it's a little self care cards in here. So I put this in here because it's cute, number one, and because I go in here so much that I end up going in this box and actually reading the cards, but it takes up a good amount of space. So I'm thinking as I stuff more, I'll be able to start sitting these up. These are all stuff. I can sit these up and start taking up space, but this is just a good placeholder for right now. So 22. Now 13 and 17, I told you guys I made $60 from my side hustle for like, it was like, Completing onboarding and doing like company compliance. It takes like 10 minutes because I do it every year. <laughs> so honestly, I don't really watch it. I just go through it and do the quiz. So it takes me a good 15 minutes, but we get a flat $60 for that. So I pulled that out the bank. Now there's another challenge I'm getting to that is I'm putting 30 in. So I just went and picked two envelopes that added up to 30. So we got 10. 11, 12, 13 for this envelope. So I went back and forth over this, but I figured, hey, what the heck? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. All right, and so I've been very diligent with it, as you can see. 17, 10, a five, and these two nasty stinking ones that I have left, all right? to go into 17 and I thought I bought my little block a little another little paper clip over here because I like to keep them like together I usually put them in order after the fact but yeah and see it's a little taller than my box so they'll have to lean all right so that's my hundred envelope challenge I have to remember 22 I'll color this in and then I did 13 and I did 17. So I'm gonna color that in off camera, but my challenge fits in there like that. The only thing I don't like is man, my box has to go on this way, but it is what it is. It's all about the money you save, not the box that you put in. <laughs> all right, so my next challenge is, is gonna be from my, my girl, Hands and Bands. This one I'm not ready yet. Okay, so I started her strike challenge. So I did two, is it frames? No, yeah, each game, I did two games. Each game is a 10 frame, right? So I rolled all my dice and got my score of 60 and then I rolled to find out who I played. So this first game, <laughs> I was playing Erica, <laughs> Black and Blue. Hey, so shout out to Black and Blue. Everybody know her. Um, but if you don't, go check out her channel. I'll have it linked in the description box. So basically my score was 60 and Erica's score was 42. So I won. So that means because I won, um, I'm saving $20. So that's this first one. The second game, I ended up playing myself. Hey, shout out to Gina Renee R and Budgets. Go, go support her channel. <laughs> no, but just subscribe to me because I won. So I won against myself, I think. No, I lost. Okay, here we go. I had 81, but my score was 79. <laughs> Gina Jr. had 79. So because I lost, then I have to save $10. But as I start to kind of bring in more money in my side hustle, I'm going to start, you can opt to save your challenger score or something like that, equal to your the winner score. So I would have had to pay save 81. And I may get to that at some point, but for today it's giving $10, right? So this is one of Hands and Bands savings challenges that is available as well. So shout out to her too. Hands and Bands is her channel and that's my girl. So this is where I'll keep it. This is the challenge envelope. She made this decal, this vinyl for me. Um, and this is the $2 Kathy from Kathy's Cash and Coins gave me for Christmas, I think. Was it Christmas? I don't know. She gave it to me though. And so I started off a saving challenge with it. So I'm at $32. And that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully I didn't ramble on too long because I'm gonna have to make these videos all together. But this one might have to be one separately because it is like 20 minutes long. So I will, or I should 
these are my other envelopes if y'all just want to see so this is how i'm doing my bills i'm gonna just start stuffing all my fixed expenses and these are my amounts that i'm budgeting for some of them aren't always that amount um and whatever's not i'll put that toward a saving challenge my subscriptions will all go in this envelope and i have them listed here let me see if i can use something to kind of so y'all can see so i have my subscription and then this because i get paid bi-weekly but i stuff i like to stuff my money every week so at probably starting this week or whatever i'm gonna put week two in here and these are my amounts that makes sense so this is my other mold term that i had to pull out for my bill binder that's all for now give me a thumbs up if you're kind of like getting my process here you know <laughs> but um i know i have to keep making changes but guess what my life changes and that's the wonderful thing about budgeting as your life changes you make changes within your budget whatever it takes for you to stay consistent that's the key for me like for me consistency has to be it has to be easy for me it has to make sense so you know you change it as you change and you just do what works like i found myself for a while falling into what i thought the subscribers wanted to see but that's not me being authentic and that's not helping me you know your, my budget shouldn't be easy for you guys it should be easy for me to stick to it i want it to be interesting to watch and i want of course my my techniques and the style of budgeting i want to give you ideas and things of that nature but your budgeting is your own and essentially that's why i started my my youtube channel was for accountability it's never has been technically about subscriber count and that type of thing and you know if one day my channel comes to fruition and i get monetized great if i don't as long as it helps me stick to my budget then i've already accomplished my goal for this youtube channel so that being said i would love to have you if you feel like i'm entertaining or my budgeting style might be something that you can work with go ahead and subscribe join me i'll try to have other things but it's probably gonna be a few months because i gotta get through <laughs> my season my side hustle job is seasonal it's only like three months no four february march april may and it totally consumes all my time but then it's over so at some point i will kind of share different content more content what have you but anyway i'm not gonna keep rambling hey to all my friends all my all my ogs all my supporters that just watch every video and like every video and comment every time comment down below um whatever i don't care what <laughs> just say hi i'm here sis whatever um but if you're not a part of the family go ahead subscribe give it a chance come back turn on the notification bell because if you don't remember to watch my videos then it's probably gonna unsubscribe you to me that's for real like i appreciate you to subscribe but i appreciate it more if you come back and watch my videos because those are the subscribers that stick um sometimes as a youtuber it can be quite frustrating to feel like you have a certain number of subscribers and then to wake up the next day or that night and all of a sudden you're down five six twelve i've lost 31 <laughs> overnight before <laughs> so you know i want people to engage people to watch um i'm gonna start giving away some um some of my planner stickers so if you're watching now uh put up a pink the pink heart with the two little yellow diamonds on it i don't want to put it up here because i don't want people to breeze through and see if i put up an emoji an emoji or whatever but if you want some stickers i got a million sticker books some of them i might have used one sticker out of it they're all i'm gonna get rid of all happy planner stickers first so you know the little 20 dollar books i got like a hundred <laughs> that i honestly want to get rid of so um leave that little pink heart with the yellow diamonds and that way i'll know to add you to the little raffle i'll call it for a sticker book or two it just depends on what kind of mood i'm in so thanks for watching i'm gonna shut up
I love you guys. Thanks for all your love, support, encouragement, inspiration, and I will be talking to you guys hopefully real soon. Take care. I wish you peace, love, and prosperity. Bye, guys.